Remember that scrungly orange lizard? I was testing how the scrungly one reacted to other types of stimuli when I became curious about what would occur if I were to spawn in a different species of lizard, but with the same ID. Hmm, interesting. This blue lizard is nearly as scrawny as the orange. Quite the coincidence. I wonder if other species with the same ID are similar. This pink lizard is practically a carbon copy of the orange lizard. They even have the same scale placement. Creatures with matching IDs always have the same stats no matter what species they are. Which makes me wonder, is it the stats which determine how a lizard looks? Or is it the numbers in the ID itself which sway their appearance? All these versions of Scrungly behave very similar to each other. But then again, blue, pink and orange lizards generally do not overlap with each other. Neither pink nor orange eat blue lizards and there is plenty of space in this test chamber, so they are avoiding each other in typical scrungly fashion. Orange scrungly doesn't even bother biting blue scrungly when it gets in the way, though they do passive aggressively open their mouths at each other in a silent warning. Let's try spawning in a lizard that is higher on the food chain. Cyan lizards eat blue lizards. I wonder if scrungly cyan will eat scrungly blue. How amusing. On top of the thin pretzel of a tail, scrungly cyan looks almost frail in appearance. Well, that was quick. Cyans love the taste of blue lizards just as much as green lizards do, and scrungly cyan is no exception. Speaking of green lizards, how scrungly is scrungly green? Not nearly as scrungly, it seems, but the characteristic weirdly shriveled tail remains. Still no conflict has occurred between the counterparts. Perhaps more territorial species will finally spark something. On the caramel counterpart, the crinkled state of the tail is a bit more obvious. The pink and green scrunglies finally get irritated with each other and begin fighting. Pink lizards and green lizards naturally butt heads with one another, so this is typical behavior for the species. Though the cyan scrungly appears actually interested in the fight, while the orange seems to be ignoring it. Interestingly, the cyan actually comes down and bares their teeth at the combatants. but the pink and green scrunglies ignore them. In response to this, Cyan Scrungly begins to ping-pong erratically around Orange, while the fight below slowly escalates. 
Scion's behavior causes Orange to fall from their lofty perch and land right amidst the skirmishing counterparts. It is unclear as to whether or not this was Scion's intention. There is a momentary pause. Scrungly Pink is wounded and has forfeited the fight. The Caramel counterpart, in typical Caramel fashion, still wants to fight, despite the fact that none of the other Scrungly counterparts appear interested. I end up spawning in the white and black lizard versions of Scrungly, but due to their nature as primarily ambush predators, they did not really add anything substantial to the experiment. The original Scrungly appears to be getting fed up with their caramel counterpart and starts performing threat displays as they grow more agitated. Perhaps it holds a particular grudge toward caramel lizards. But of course they are both too cowardly to enact real harm on one another, so fighting to the death is unlikely to occur. How about we spice things up a bit? A scrumptious strawberry lizard is sure to get the attention of the other counterparts. Cyan lizards are one of the few that do not eat strawberry lizards, so our scrungly cyan is uninterested. Miraculously, our scrungly orange catches their strawberry counterpart and actually succeeds in bringing it back to the den. Just to round things out, I add in the salamander and eel versions of scrungly. Now let's see. I wonder, what lizard is left? Ah yes, let's see what the red version of our scrungly lizard looks like. Unlike all the others, the red scrungly appears the farthest removed from the original orange scrungly. 
and with a single snap of their jaws, our orange scrungly perishes. It's almost as if the red counterpart, upon seeing their inferior scrungly self, instantly detested their existence. And thus concludes the scrungly experiment.